The left leg is gonna be the leg that steps out into Jumi ready position because the left leg is gonna be the first leg to move when we start our form. The first move, we're gonna step out with our left and our left arm is gonna be back with our palm down and our fingers down for an upset palm block. Remember to push your palm forward and you should be right down the center line. From here, you're gonna do two punches, again, midsection to center line. From here, we're gonna double step. Step with the left and then step with the right and do the same thing on the right side. Step together, right arm, palm down, fingers down as well. Upset palm block, punch, punch. From here, you're gonna take your right leg back into a back stance and the right arm is gonna reach back for a double knife hand block. Remember, the arm that's already by your chest is gonna start down and the arm that is out is gonna start up by your ear. This is the starting position for a side knife and high low block. In this form, it's a tension move, so it's gonna be for five seconds. You're gonna get into starting position, five, four, three. Once you can see your right arm in your peripheral vision, you can follow it all the way up for the remainder of the five seconds. Rotate. Now the hand that's high gives us a hint because that same side leg is gonna do the kick. It's a number one kick, so I just lift and kick with that right leg. Land right where it came from so you don't mess up the line and pattern of your form. Now I'm gonna turn over my back shoulder to continue this direction. So I turn and look, starting position. Into a back stance, I'm doing a side knife hand high low block. Now I'm gonna do a double step. So I step with the back leg and then step with the front leg, also changing directions. Remember that you wanna stay low as you double step. You don't wanna jump up and down. You don't wanna come up and then back down low for your stance. So from here, I step up, staying low, and I step over into a front stance for a five second tension punch. Five, four, three, two, one. Remember to rotate at the last second and you're, and you're punching right down the center line. The next two moves are a front kick round kick combination. Don't forget to keep your hands up for balance and keep your knee up between each kick. I'm gonna finish in a back stance. After that, we do a double knife hand low block, reaching straight up and straight down. Remember to keep your hands parallel to each other. This one should be past your knee and this one should be right about at your belt knot. Now we're gonna hit with all different sides of our hand and switch in all three different stances. So we're, with our back arm, we're gonna do an upset knife hand strike in a front stance. Now we're gonna change directions. We're gonna bring that knife hand all the way on the top, but twist it so your palm is down. Bring your left leg up into a rear back stance for an upset ridge hand strike. Now we're gonna do a spear hand. With the front leg, is gonna step into a back stance, and the front arm, we're gonna hit with the top of our fingers. From here, we're gonna do a jump outer crescent kick. Remember to bend the back leg and kick with the front leg, starting in a back stance and ending in a back stance. Remember, your back leg is already turned to the side, making your hips in a perfect position for an outer crescent kick. So keep your back hip facing to the side, jump, outer crescent kick, landing in a back stance. Now our back arm is gonna do a palm heel strike. From here, you're gonna do a high X block. So bring those arms into your power pockets, step into a closed stance, high X block. The one thing that helps me is whatever arm does the palm is also the one that's gonna go on the inside of your X block. So from here, starting position, high X block. That same arm is also going to do the next move, which is a knife hand strike. So we hug, knife hand strike to the neck, punch to the belly. Now we're going to turn over our back shoulder, but go this direction. We're going to do a double low block. So one thing that helps me is if I remember, if I were to stick my thumb out, it's like an arrow that reminds me to turn over my back shoulder. I'm going to turn and look. I'm going to go this direction. I like to think of it as low, middle, high. I do a double low block in a middle stance. Remember, even though you're doing a double low block, you still want your eyes to be up at your eye level. Now I'm gonna do a jump side kick. This is where I step with the back and kick with the front leg, jumping off both feet. Step side kick. Landing in a sparring stance, now I'm gonna do a double outer forearm block. You reach halfway of your form, and if you've done it correctly, you should end right where you've started once you're at the halfway mark. Now we're gonna do the same moves that we just did those last three moves. We're gonna do it again, but on the other side of the body. We're gonna turn over our back shoulder, but continue in this direction. So from here, I'm gonna turn and look. Double low block, eyes are up, jump side kick. Eyes are up, double outer forearm block. 
Now I'm going to turn over towards the back wall. I'm going to turn over my right shoulder. So my right leg is the back leg, but as I turn, it's going to become my front leg. So double arm forward left, turn and look, and that right arm is going to come on top. Palm is down because there's rotation for the upset ridge hand strike. Right leg steps out, upset ridge hand strike. Remember to keep your wrist nice and straight. We don't want it flat as a board. Now we're going to hit with the top of our hand for a spear hand, switching from a rear back stance to a back stance. Remember, we're going to do a jump outer crescent kick, bending our back leg and kicking with our front leg. Your hips are already turned sideways, just like the kick we did earlier in the form. So make sure you keep your knee that direction to have a lot of power on the jump out or crescent kick. Start in the back stance and end in the back stance. Back arm does a palm heel strike. That same palm heel arm is going to be the one that goes on the inside for the high X block and that does the knife hand strike. Palm heel, starting position, high X block, bring it in, chop to the neck punch to the belly. From here, again, we're going to turn over that same arm that's doing the punch, and we're going to go this direction. So we turn all the way around, step into a front stance, we're going to do a five second tension punch. Five, four, three, two, rotate. Next is our front kick, round kick combination. Don't forget to keep your hands up and your knee up between each kick. Reach all the way back into a back stance, we're doing a double knife hand low block. Even though that technique is low, our eyes stay up. From here, move your front leg into a front stance. Don't move your back leg or you'll mess up the line of your form. Upset knife hand strike. Remember to keep your wrists nice and straight. You don't want it flat. Now we're on the last few moves of our form. You're gonna double step. Step with the back and then step again with the front. We're stepping together and we're gonna go towards the back of the room. Reach back, step with the left leg into a back stance, double knife hand block. The next technique is a side knife hand high low block. It's gonna be a five second tension technique. So the arm that is already at your chest is gonna go down low. The arm that's out front is gonna come up close to you. For five, four, three, two, rotate. The same hand that's high, that leg does the side kick, number one. Land where it came from, turn over your back shoulder, for a quick side knife and high low block. Remember the left leg stepped out for our first move, so our left leg will step up to Jimmy ready position.